Hello everybody, Steel the Wolf here, and I want to uh, do a voiceover and show you a uh, game that I played a while back. Um, I want to talk about driving. Rules for driving, rules for gunning, and uh, rules for being what we call a ground pounder, or somebody who is, you know, on foot but helping to support vehicles. As you can see, I've got a wheelman counter uh, in the top corner. You can track any wheelmans. Um, eventually, I get to 28. And so, uh, let's get started here. Uh, immediately, you're gonna see, there's number one rule of driving is protect the gunner. And I actually break the rule right there, uh, and that death is completely on me. The number one rule of driving, as I said a second ago, is to protect the gunner. That's what you wanna do. Because he's the one on, you know, the fully automatic 50 caliber machine gun. You've just got a bumper. So, let him do the killing. He is the deadly part. Your job is to enable him to be the deadly part most efficiently. Now, the number one rule of protecting the gunner is to keep moving. Don't stop, or try to limit, you know, the stopping and the slowing down. Try to come at groups of enemies in passes going full speed, because the faster you're going, the harder you are to hit. If, you know, you're hard to hit, your odds of dying aren't very good, and your odds of protecting the gunner are the best. And remember, number one rule, protect the gunner. <clears throat> if, you know, after the, all the protecting the gunner and all that, keeping moving, you want to give the gunner angles, because like I said, you want to enable your gunner to be as deadly as he can, as efficiently as possible. Your job is to give him the angles he needs to, you know, shoot and kill and maim and all that kind of fun stuff. So you're going to drive in a manner that gives him the greatest ability to keep shooting at enemies. Um, to this extent, also, communication. You want to communicate with your driver. You know, if you guys both have mics, that's awesome. Call out where enemies are, call out where stuff is. Um, you know, do a lot of that communication. Use, like, the clock system, you know, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Those kinds of things, really good. Um, you know, 8 o'clock high. All those sorts of things. Communication is the greatest tool. If you guys don't have mics, well, first of all, if, if, if you're driving and you have a mic, your gunner doesn't, I'd keep saying it anyway. Because your driver's going to hear you, and he'll, you know, hopefully if he's not stupid, he'll take care of, he'll, he'll use that information to his best ability. But if none of you have, if neither of you have mics, you're not out of luck, because there are forms of nonverbal communication you can use. For instance, if all of a sudden your gunner whips around and starts shooting at 7 o'clock, you know, just, just laying on the gun, there's a good chance there's an enemy over there. So you're going to want to turn that way and give your, dr uh, I'm sorry, give your gunner the ability to uh, start getting kills in that area. Give him that angle that he needs. <clears throat> um, be aware of available weapons that there are on the playing field. Uh, also, another rule, uh, don't drive into stupid stuff like that. <laughs> that goes into the uh, stop. Don't stop. Um, be aware of available weapons. So if you know that on a map there is you know, a sniper, a laser, and a rocket launcher, be aware of that and be aware of what side has that. Um, for instance, on this map, I know that there is a sniper rifle. There's one on both sides. And so if I start seeing sniper rounds coming from their side of the map, you know, I know not to go over there because they can wreck my hog. <clears throat> um, the last thing I want to talk about is um, knowing the dynamics of the vehicle. Um, this may sound a little crazy, but I had a friend, uh, we were big into gunning and driving and all that kind of stuff, and what, I was the driver, he was the gunner, and what we would do is we'd go into a forge game, and we'd spawn a huge pile of grenades, and we would practice, I would drive at, you know, at him, he'd throw a grenade in my path and send me flying, and then... You know, I would just try to, you know, as I'm flying through the air, figure out once I, you know, how am I going to land, number one. And number two, you know, you know, how do I want the wheels to be spinning? You know, I want them forward, backward, whatever, so that I have the best chance of landing wheels up. I'm sorry, landing wheels down and being able to keep moving without, you know, falling out, having to flip the hog, all that kind of stuff. Because that's, that's when you're the most vulnerable. When you fall out, have to flip the hog back over, you're extremely vulnerable. And so practice it, you know. Be aware that the hog can go forward, but it can also go backward. And if there's a bunch of enemies in front of you, and you have to like go into this little area and turn around and come back out, you can just stop and go backward. 
you know, know the dynamics of a flying hog, know how um, acceleration and direction of wheel spin when you land is going to affect, um, you know, your path after you land. Um, and then to that effect, know how to use the e-brake and the full brake properly. Um, I believe, and this is embarrassing that I don't know, but for me it's kind of a muscle memory thing. Um, right trigger is the e-brake and A is the full stop button. Mostly you're going to use the e-brake and the e-brake is the most useful when you're making little turns um, and it's just good for kind of sliding around corners, kind of kicking the back end of the vehicle out. Um, but contrary to popular belief, or some people have said, you don't want to hold the e-brake down the entire time because if you do that, you're going to lose vehicle speed somewhere about 15%, and obviously you want to be as fast as possible, as I said earlier. Um, now granted, even if you practice a lot and you follow all these rules, as you'll see in a second, eventually, uh, event, sorry, eventually you will hit areas where stuff will go awry, you'll go flying, you know, the stars will align, and even though you're following all the rules perfectly, like right about here, um, stuff's going to happen, you know. Three different grenades are going to come in from one angle, and you already had a beat-up hog, and you're going to die. Um, it's going to happen. With practice, you can minimize the number of times that happens. Actually, in this game, I ended up going one and one, um, so I didn't even have a negative kill-death ratio. Um, but 17 wheelmans before they took us out, and most of that time was spent in their territory. That's pretty darn good. Um... Another quick thing, if you're driving, uh, don't do what I do right here, which is pretty much um, waiting around for the next Warthog to come up, because you can be invaluable your, to your team on foot as well, and I could have been out there getting kills, but I honestly got a little bit greedy just waiting for the next Hog to show up, and uh, I should have been out there actually, you know, getting remaining. kills. Um, but while we're on the ground and not in a vehicle... A couple of rules for ground pounders. Now, the term ground pounder refers to somebody who is uh, kind of a support person. They're not in the vehicle. They're on foot, but they are supporting the vehicles that are out. Um, if you're a ground pounder, know the available weapons. Know that, okay, if there's one rocket launcher on the map, and if we grab it, obviously now they don't have it. And also, for God's sake, watch your shot. If you're playing, you know, Invasion and you are the, I'm sorry, if you're playing Invasion and you're the Spartans and you see a, um, what are they called, a Banshee flying around, don't immediately shoot it because, you know, just because it's, you know, their vehicle doesn't mean it's being driven by them. Watch your shot. That goes for all vehicles. You know, make sure you're actually shooting an enemy, not a friend that's in an enemy vehicle. Now, uh, since we're back in the Warthog, and we're going to go back at this. We're going to talk a little bit about gunning rules. Number one rule as a gunner is to prioritize targets. If you come around a corner and you see three enemies, all of which, uh, let's say two of them have assault rifles and one of them has a rocket launcher, you're going to want to focus on the guy with the rocket launcher. He poses the biggest threat to you, the driver, who is your source of mobility and your greatest protector, and the hog itself. So know that prioritize your targets. Or in that case, you saw a little bit a little bit ago. Um, regrettably, he died. However, um, he started shooting at the target that was the closest to us because of bullet spread. The target that's closer is going to land more bullets. They're more of a threat. This guy, although I just randomly met up with him, is great at prioritizing targets. Um, one thing that popped in my head. Um, don't just randomly lay on the gun, like I was talking about with communication earlier. Because if you're just randomly laying on the gun in places, you're going to confuse your driver and make them think that there's an enemies in places that there aren't enemies. Um, anyway, back to my established rules. Uh, know that turret rotation and vehicle turning are completely separate. That might sound really simple to some people, but there are some people that don't realize it. Um, if you got your gun trained forward and all of a sudden the driver decides to do a donut, your gun's going to be trained forward the entire the way through that donut. The vehicles in this game pretty much defy physics. Get used to it. Um, another huge rule as a gunner, don't bail, ever. Because remember I said in a, v in a uh, Warthog, you have a huge target painted on your back, and if you bail, that driver all of a sudden has no protection, and 
it's gonna get shot down pretty fast. Um, if you just want to lift, get in the passenger seat because the driver will drive you wherever you are. You'll hop out, and at that point, you don't trick him into thinking that he's got a gunner when he really doesn't. Um, last thing, if you're in the warthog and you, uh, I'm sorry, if you're in the warthog and your driver dies, get out of the driver's seat, get in, I mean, get out of the gunner's seat, get in the driver's seat, and drive it to safety because your gunner might have died, but you can at least save the warthog. And that's it.